Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Greg and welcome to the Power Up Podcast. It's going to be me and my co-host Grizz Zombies today. What's going on, man? What's up, man? So, uh, basically today we don't have a guest. Everyone was kind of busy ramping up for Rave in the Redwoods. So I thought that we would just skip the guest this week. But if you guys still have a host or a guest that you would like to have on our show, just comment it down below and we will do our best to get them. We pretty much know like everyone, so literally we could probably get anyone in the zombies community but uh welcome to the power up podcast guys this is your zombie podcast every single week we're dropping this podcast on sundays and today we actually have a lot of stuff to talk about as far as rave in the redwoods go so Mm. to start it off i want to ask grizz what are your thoughts so far after watching the trailer the biggest thing that I noticed and saw, appreciated, and liked is the rave vision. Like, they showed a lot more of the rave vision. I wasn't quite expecting what I saw, but I think it turned out okay for what, uh, for what we saw initially in the first trailer. Yeah, because in the first trailer, it was just, like, super bright, and you could tell they turned up the brightness. But now, after seeing, like, the rave vision is what they're calling it, it's it looks pretty awesome. Like... It looked like they took some drugs of some sort, like LSD or, I don't know, some crazy (laughs) pill or something. So I'm kind of curious to see, like, how the perks are going to turn out. Uh, Are they going to be the same, like, the same type of candy that are maybe spiked? Or are they just going to be, like, pills and you have, like, a pill bottle and, like, dump it in your mouth? (laughs) Yeah, I don't know, man. And uh, I guess what else is cool about this is we got even more knowledge because we waited a little bit to do this. And now we have more knowledge on Twitter. Lee Ross has been tweeting out some stuff as yeah, well. Yeah, so we got some really cool news. And I guess tagging along with the whole perk thing, we're going to be getting a new perk. It's confirmed. Mm-hmm. We don't know what it's going to be. And honestly, I really hope there's one that's similar to being able to keep your perks. Maybe like a tombstone type thing. That would be kind of cool to see and see if maybe they can do it better than Treyarch did. But uh, also there's, you know, we could get uh, one similar to Widow's Wine maybe. Uh, there's a whole different, like, there's so many different things that we could get. So yeah, Some guy named Sam Rock asked Lee Ross, well, he actually tweeted Call of Duty and Infinity Ward, is there going to be a new perk in Rave in the Redwoods? And Lee Ross, who's been just hopping onto the Twitter of Call of Duty, just replied back, yes, you want to know what they are, right? You'll just have to wait until January 31st on PS4, so... He's dropping yeah. some bombers. He's really teasing it hard. Uh, something else that I want to talk about is there's no tickets in Raven the Redwoods. They've changed the challenges to be more personal this time, and they're, they're going to reward players with handoff weapons instead. So no tickets. There's no ticket system. Yeah, so, I mean, that's not really a bad thing in my opinion, um, but we'll have to see how it turns out. And definitely there's going to be some new traps and the melee weapons as well. Uh, some of the traps that we saw in the trailer, there is a piranha trap. So there's actually yeah. piranhas in that lake, which is really, really cool to see. Uh, so there might be like a river running through part of the map, um, we can assume. Also, there's an island. I forget the name of the island. I think it's Turtle Island. And that is most likely where Pack Punch is going to be. So yeah. I think it'd be really cool if we took the boat across to that island to Pack oh, Punch. Oh, nice! That'd be like Instead one of, of the coolest things. Or maybe that zip line that we saw. Maybe you can zip line across. Uh, that'd be really really cool as well. And have like piranhas jumping up. It would just look really really cool. So there's a don a bunch of different stuff that we don't even know about. But uh, speaking of Pack a Punch. They, Lee Ross also confirmed that if you completed the Zombies in Spaceland Easter Egg, you can double pack a punch. So that, That's right. That's that is pieces. awesome. That's really, really good news. And uh, it also, in the trailer, it looked basically exactly as this, as same, or the same as the one in Zombies in Spaceland. So uh, chances Objection are it's going to be like probably the same room. I actually made a video about that a, f- a couple months ago, saying that right. it's most likely going to be in the same one because it's literally a theater, and he's just changing the movie. So that's nice. pretty cool. So we got a lot of Fate and Fortune cards coming into the mix yet, but we we don't know what they are. That's the only Yeah, thing. there was names given. I don't know the names, but we still don't know what they do, so it wouldn't really matter. Wait, here anymore. we go. Um, Purify, Explosive Touch, Shared Fate, and Fire Chain. Hmm. Sounds interesting. Heimly Torrent. 
one new fate and fortune card, Timely Torrent. Maybe Timely Torrent's what it is. I'm not sure. But uh, it's it's a weird tweet, so. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you can't really decide. I mean, Explosive Touch maybe it adds, like, explosive bullets for a certain amount of time or something. Right. And not clearly defined. Yeah, so we don't we don't know what they are. I mean, obviously we're gonna post videos when we figure out what they are and like show them off and stuff. But mm -hmm. um, for right now, dude, that's pretty that's pretty exciting. Like, there's so much content that's gonna be coming with this map, which I'm excited about. Man. Oh yeah, for I want to sure. find that one about another game mode real quick. Oh, actually, uh, Afterlife Arcade. He teased it. He didn't confirm it. Uh, but I don't I don't foresee when you die, you're gonna go to an arcade. Yeah, but yeah. there was this really cool thing in the trailer that had a zombie spinning, and you, like, throw a knife at it. Oh, yeah. So yeah, do that you think it's could, like a dungeon? That could be some type of thing, because there was a tweet, I don't remember the exact thing, so I'm paraphrasing here, but um, he said that there's a lot of things to find, like, down the dark path or something like that. It was okay. It was something like that. So I guarantee you there has to be, like, some sort of, like dungeon or like maybe under under the camps that is like maybe like a tunnel system that could right. have some really cool stuff so that'd be really interesting to see how that plays out yeah i don't really have any ideas for how that's gonna work if like i imagine it's underground but that's just my mind thinking yeah there was, sure. there was also another trap that i forgot to mention there's a wood chipper <laughs> on the map so, so that thing is probably gonna, you know, chop some zombies up, which is kind of cool. Uh, it's probably gonna be kind of like the fan trap and like sucking zombies, like we saw in Zetsubo. Um, mm. So like right near where the turret was on Zetsubo. So that's that's pretty cool. Uh, I like how they're adding in like a bunch of different stuff to the map, and we also got the tease that you aren't going to be starting off with a weapon when you right. spawn in, which is crazy cool. It's only. So yeah, so I'm really curious to see if they're actually going to have the starting pistol from Zombies in Spaceland on the wall. Because if they do, then that means that we can pack a punch it and then use it again and buy ammo for it. That would be OP. That'd be interesting. I wonder if the Kindle's going to be there or if it's going to be like the Hailstorm or Oni. Maybe they're all just nearby. Yeah, I would assume that they're most likely going to have some of the same ones that we saw on the wall. But it would be cool to have different stuff as well. Like maybe uh, they'll bring back some of those wonder weapons. Like maybe one or two of them that you can get from the box. That would be nice to see. Um, and what I think they might be doing is like Origins. When you first spawn in, you pick up a shovel. Yeah. And they're just kind of cool. hanging out. I think that's where we're going to see our melee weapons. At least the goofy ones that we were seeing in the trailers. Mm -hmm. And I think they'll just be around... And you got to pick them up, and whoever gets there first kind of gets to pick that one. And I'm sure maybe they're all like the same amount of damage, but maybe there's one that shines. Yeah, you never know. Like some could be better pack a punch than others too, and mm -hmm. chances are you'll be able to pack a punch them. Just like we could get the, uh, you could double pack punch the axe and get like the gold one and stuff like that. Um, so that's I think the axe cool. is better. Yeah, it actually has two different uh, sharp sides now, so it's kind of like a mace type deal. I think when you swing it back, you're doing damage to the zombies behind you now. Oh, that's cool. Maybe. So instead of just like 180, it's like 360, yeah. basically? That's pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, well, you swing back to get your thrust to thrust forward. Yeah. And so you're like double, double whacking. Yeah, that'd be cool. <laughs> I don't know, maybe. Protect your back and the front at the same time. A tweet I was talking about earlier here. Somebody asked Lee Ross, "Do you plan on releasing any other game modes for zombies alongside the regular survival mode?" And what he replied with was, "We have prototyped some things, but we want our focus. We want to focus our efforts on each DLC episode." So, the, so there's prototypes of ga other game modes, but there's nothing official that they want yet. So they could be testing stuff out uh, right mm -hmm. now. And maybe we'll get it towards the end of the DLC Wager cycle. Wager matches. Wager matches. That's all I'm for praying crypto for. For keys, man, that'd be awesome. Some sort of, like, grief like that, that'd be fun. Yeah, wage our keys, man, because it's been taking like, like, one all day trying to earn them. One thing that I would have loved to see in Black Ops 3 during, like, the whole ranking system was having some sort of grief mode, because... I feel mm -hmm. like if you play zombies, like, yeah, it's fun to, like, level up with and stuff, but if you have, like, a grief mode that's competitive, I mean, that 
adds not only longevity to the game, but it actually wants, like, you want to level up doing stuff like that. So that would have been really nice to see for sure. But, I mean, if chances are if they do end up releasing that, it'll probably be later on. But uh, still, it's really, really cool to see. And uh, one other thing that I want to talk about was a new weapon that looked like a bow and arrow from the trailer. The crossbow. The crossbow, yeah. Yeah, dude. And it looked like it shot out a lightning bolt, didn't it? I think, but there was like a huge explosion too. Yeah, go look at that explosion if you got it up right now. And uh, if you look at the explosion afterwards, there's a lightning bolt that comes from the sky and is causing some serious damage. Yeah. Very curious what that's about. Yeah, and they also, like, in that live stream, they had two different camos for it. And those are probably... Really? Yeah, there was, like, one that looked really cool, like, a 90s design with, like, flowers on it and stuff. And there was another one that looked kind of like a pack-a-punch camo, kind of like the Revelations one. So, I'm really Wonder curious... Weapon? It might be the Wonder Weapon, but we don't know if, like, there's multiple variations of it. Right. But it seemed like a buildable, from what um, Lee Ross was saying. He said, uh, it's like, he said you can acquire it by, what? like, basically there's a quest for it, kind of, is what he said. So, there's most... Wonder weapon -y. Yeah, it's most likely going to be a buildable where you have to actually find the parts, and that's, like, awesome, because having wonder weapons that are buildables, like, kind of like the ones that we saw on uh, Zombies in Spaceland, all four of those pistols were buildables, it'd be really cool if, like, maybe one or two parts were, like, similar, and then the rest were, like, one specific to that exact weapon, um... So, like, honestly, we don't really know right now. Like, maybe the crossbow is one of the wonder weapons, and there's other ones that they haven't even showed off yet. Like, that's really exciting to see. Um, also, we got the uh, tease with the new character. Um, right. Can't remember his uh, name. Kevin it, Smith. Kevin Smith, yeah. And uh, Comic book man. That's pretty Silent cool. Bob. He's Silent Bob, right? Yeah. <laughs> I just watched that movie on Netflix yesterday. I was going to say there was a picture with Jay as well, and he's also credited in this, so maybe they just didn't show him, or he's yeah, on the map he, somewhere. He could know. be the slasher, too. Well, he because, might play one of those, yeah. Yeah. Right. Um, but that's really Which exciting, because... We, we should talk about those. There were three monsters. Yeah, sure. Three monsters, because I, uh, I can't distinguish... If there's like a rave version of the slasher and then there's there is. a normal yes. version of the slasher. Um, so basically my understanding of it is the werewolf, or not werewolf, Sasquatch characters. Uh, mm -hmm. Those ones are going to be the clown round. They're replacing the clown round. Um, okay. And then we also got the slasher who is kind of crazy and like grinds the saw up against his mask like a psycho. Um, that that guy comes on rave mode, I believe, every time. And then those huge brutes also spawn sporadically. It depends on if it's in rave mode or... Like, it doesn't depend, rather, but they, they look different either way. And also those um, Sasquatch guys can spawn in either or. And they have, like, different designs depending on when they spawn in. So if you're in rave mode, it's going to look a little bit different. It's going to have some neon lights on it type stuff. Um, all right, all right. I got a question for you, Greg. About that, so that's so, cool. What do you think about this rave mode? It's like they went up to, was, was it a cauldron-like thing? What, what did they do to actually turn it on? Okay, so that was, like, some sort of... Oh, it was just a fire, a campfire. Yeah, went up to this campfire. yeah. I think it'd be really cool if the way to turn on power for a specific area to light it up is if mm -hmm. they have different fires around the map and you have to go to like like maybe right after you leave the spawn room there's a fire or maybe you have to you know light the fireplace and bring the fire to those different areas to light it up that would, like that's that. a really cool idea in my opinion um and it seemed like they were like they brought something to the fire and then, then that mm. they went in that mode, and there's like an adventure, or not adventure. I, f I don't remember the name. Uh, it's like an no, it was adventure course, and that is like right when they were getting like high or whatever or loopy right. in the trailer. 
So that that's like another area of the map. They literally showed the entire map layout, which was kind of dumb in my opinion cuz I mean, it's cool to know the map layout, but at the same time like you shouldn't release that before the map even drops. Right. Like come on. I think a majority of people aren't focusing on it though. Yeah. At least the longtime fans. Uh, my other question for you is is the rave mode that we're seeing like the clown rounds, like once it dims the lights down and you hear the music, you think that's possible, or is this I, an Easter no, egg I don't, step? No, I don't think so. I think that's going to be an Easter egg step. It might have a possibility with other things, but yeah. they literally made different designs for the same character, like the same enemies. So, mm -hmm. so it, they can spawn in either clown, like a, you know, rave mode or not in rave mode. So. Yeah. Uh, I don't think that's like round specific or anything like that. I think um, we're gonna we're just gonna have to wait and see like what we have to do in rave mode. But it seems like you probably wouldn't want to go in rave mode as much because the slasher spawns, which might be a pain in the butt to kill and all that stuff. So it seems like the zip line. I'm looking at it now. Is like on the back of the house that we've been seeing in like the first trailer yeah. that we were walking in. Mm -hmm. it seems like it's on the back side of one of those houses. And uh, if that's the case, I think it might just be a travel point from one spot to another. Yeah, that makes sense. Like if you go up the up that building, like maybe you're, you know, a bunch of zombies are chasing you right outside the building. You just run up the building, take the zip line down. I'm kind of curious to see if the zombies are going to be able to go down the zip line like we saw in Call of the Dead. Like George yeah. can go on the zip line. So, I mean, that's kind of cool. Uh, we'll have to wait and see how that turns out. I'm, I'm excited for this map, man. Yeah, right. no, it's definitely building a lot of hype. But I want to take a moment to discuss something that has kind of been annoying me lately. And that is the negativity about this map. Um, there has been so much negativity that is completely uncalled for. And, like, I even got called out for this, like, being, I shouldn't be, like excited for the map and stuff which really? is no one's right to tell me what i can and cannot be excited for when it comes Ooh. to call of duty and video games but like literally people they they're just bandwagoning like i call i literally called right. someone oh. a sheep like he like said raven the red reds is gonna suck and all this stuff i replied you're a sheep that's literally <laughs> all i replied and it's true because I've seen the effects after doing YouTube this long of how much influence YouTubers have. Like you might not think of it, but having people like the bigger guys, I'm not going to mention any names, say that they don't like Raven the Redwoods or they don't like Infinite Warfare Zombies, it sets a precedent with all, or presidents, whatever it's called, with all the little kids, man. And like, not only little kids, but other people, they're just like, oh, he doesn't like it, or this is not going to be as good as Treyarch. Yeah, obviously, it's different. It's a different company, so that should not matter. You guys got to take this with a grain of salt and appreciate what's going on. We're literally getting new content, and yeah, it's probably not going to be as good as Treyarch, but we got Setsubo, we got Transit, like, give it a little bit of grace, guys. Like, Treyarch has made bad maps, and that's okay, and Infinity Ward's most likely going to make good maps and bad maps, so you just got to enjoy this new content that we're getting. You don't have to complain about every single thing. If you don't like zombies, play Overwatch. That's cool. I don't care. Like, go play other games, play Resident Evil or whatever. But you don't have to literally say to your fans that the game is trash because it makes all the people who still enjoy zombies look bad. Also, we're not going to get as much views and stuff like that, which is not the biggest deal in the world, but it kind of is at the same time. It's a hindrance. So I think people need to really think about what they're saying because people are an influence whether they think it or not and <laughs> it kind of really really annoyed me about some of this stuff happening lately yeah and i think i think part of the way you can look at it is that derise and drac well dlc one is always the pinnacle point for each season pass and it's too early to judge when you haven't even played dlc one but it's going to be a blowout or it's not going to be. And that, that can set the mood for pretty much the rest of the DLC season. I would say that people are premature 
trying to make judgment like that already. Uh, it's, there's yeah. just too much experience still. There's too much. Only introduced their the giant. You know when we played the giant, and we got Shadows of Evil. Of course, they spent longer on Shadows of Evil, but since uh, Infinity Ward didn't have another zombies map that they've been, ever been doing because they came from Extinction. Literally, th- this is their the giant map. You know what I mean? Yeah. Smaller, smaller version of the best that they're planning on doing. I mean, I don't expect this to be the best map that they make, and. Um... I mean, that's just kind of up in the air. But at the same time, like, people just need to understand, like, there's no reason to be downvoting and downhyping something that's new for other people. Because people are going to enjoy it whether you like it or not. There's going to be people that, people love Transit. People love Zetsubo. And I shouldn't probably be using those as examples because they're really not that bad. But, like... People don't like maps, and people like maps, and you should literally take the time to be considerate of other people and not work, care about what they say. Like, you can have a different opinion, that's totally cool, but you don't have to, like, make it so that other people accept your opinion as well, because it's just not needed. Like, <laughs> I don't know, people should not be trying to dictate what other people like and don't like, in my opinion. Right, but there's also a big group that appreciates what you're doing, what I'm doing, and they they care that there's a community out there that's still floating about tr- trying to discover us still. And yeah, yeah. There's there's tons of other YouTubers that are just as good as, as us, and we're eventually going to be the guys that take the forefront when it comes to this this game. If if all all else fails and everybody else leaves, then uh, you're you're looking at you're looking at the next crew that's going to be taken over, so it's not a uh, it's not a matter of if and it's a matter of when. Yeah. So I'm dedicated to this. You're dedicated to this. It's something that's going to be definitely long term for both our channels. I see a lot of I see a lot of hype when it comes to Raven the Redwoods, and there's a lot of positivity that both of our channels are bringing to the table. So it's it's a fun time to be alive if you're a Zombies fan. Yeah, for sure, man. And I also, to touch back on that double pack-a-punch thing, I think that it's really cool that it's only available for for people who have done the Easter egg, because that shows that they're really catering to the hardcore fans. Definitely. Because if you can't double pack-a-punch a a gun, I mean, it might not make a huge difference, but uh, it it can mean the difference between going into a boss fight ready and not ready too so right um and will we get to be able to double pack a punch before our boss round i would assume so yeah i would think so too uh because it would be kind of weird if it unlocks later like we find we all of a sudden find these alien fuses again just floating we're like wait what (laughs) they um someone did mention that are we going to be seeing the aliens again? And Lee Ross kind of basically said yes. And this is just kind of <laughs> my thought. I think that the last map might be on an alien spaceship. You think so? Yeah. I'm just going to say Atlantis because I say that for every DLC. <laughs> I just wanted an Atlantis map. So come on, Infinity War. Give me Atlantis. <laughs> or give us France. <laughs> Oh, Petty. Paris would be awesome, dude. They were supposed to give us France for... uh, Isn't Moon's, like, code word name France or something like that? Well, there's there's that, and then there was uh, Origins, which took place in France. But then you have the teaser in Derizendrac with the plunger Easter egg that says something's going to happen in London. We're like, Mm -hmm. oh, dang, dude, it's going to (laughs) happen. And it never did. Yeah. Well, you got Sir Jamie on the custom side going hard on Old London, so at least there's that. Yeah, someone released a new map, too. Uh, I think it's called, like, Transgression or something like that. Oh, dang. Nice. And uh, I guess it ha- it's like Mob of the Dead and Origins mix, and it has Brutus on it, and you can get the staffs and stuff like that. So that's oh, pretty cool. my God. And there's, like, a full Easter Amazing. egg in order to do it, so... Uh, Full on. Yeah, Put like, a lot of time into that. Stuff is like, coming out, man. It's progressing, like we said. It's gonna. 
It's awesome. Definitely exciting stuff in the near future, for sure. So let us let us know down in the comments, guys, what you're thinking of Raven the Redwoods. There's a ton more that's still coming. I'm not sure. Are they uh, were, are they done with the teasers? Well, actually, they released the intro. We didn't even talk about the intro. Oh yeah, I guess. yeah. Let's talk about that um, for a minute. We could talk over that for just a sec. The intro um, basically described how they got from Spaceland raven the redwoods which there's not really a story they literally just teleported out when they grabbed the soul key piece it's like you would have thought um as soon as he grabbed it literally right once he grabbed soul key teleports away and they're into raven the redwoods they didn't really show anything else they're just they showed up at the party right afterwards after the zombie outbreak happened yeah after the rave or whatever and they're just in a cabin just chilling. And I like how the characters have a new twist to them, too. How they're, like, a little different. Yeah, I was going to ask you about that. I like that they're the same character with the voice continuing, so that's not different. That's pe- people can see it used to that. Mm-hmm. The look changes every time. They're actually playing a whole different person Yeah. Uh, on the outside. Yeah, and I, I think one thing Lee Ross said was, like, they're, the characters are going to learn more about themselves... Uh, or something like oh, that. Oh, that makes sense. So like Maybe they're playing different roles of themselves. Yeah. Personality-wise. Yeah. So that that's pretty cool to think about as well. I like that. It definitely shows in that intro. I, what do you think of the cartoony aspect? I I think that's I don't know. I think it's kind of dumb, but I like it. I guess at the same time, I get excited when I watch it. Yeah. No, it's cool, but at the same time, like everyone compares it to Scooby Doo. Yeah, oh, perfect. That's a perfect example. It looks like um, Scooby-Doo, and then people talk mad crap about it, and they're like, whatever. I think of Infinite Warfare, and I think of the audience that they're trying to appeal to, and then I think of who we are as Zombies fans, and majority of the other fans, too, aren't necessarily young. They're not old, either. And we're kind of in that medium zone, and a bunch of these newcomers that love Zombies now are into the mix, and that's who they're appealing to, and that's why I think it was more cartoony and lifelike. Yeah, it could be. I thought it was kind of cool seeing the spaceship explode in the cartoon aspect. I did think that was awesome. Even though we got to see it in-game. I thought that was cool. Yeah, man, there's a lot of stuff going on. Is there anything uh, you want to touch on with maybe Customs or Black Ops 3? The, The only other thing that I can recall right now is that the image for the next comic book's been teased. Oh, yeah, and yeah, It's yeah. just an image. I, think, I don't know if it's the cover or what it is. It's just an image of Maxis. And that's pretty much all I know. Really? I thought it was of Marlton. Um, oh, it's called something with Maxis, but yeah, you st- you're still right. Um, I believe, apparently, they showed the third and fourth one. The third one comes out in March, and the fourth one comes out uh, a month and a half later. Okay, so from the teases that I'm seeing, it's called Maxis's Security Measures. Yeah, so that must mean that Maxis is playing a a role again, uh, and that's a continuation from Moon and that transit story, uh, which is kind of interesting. But the, the fourth picture did not look like it added on to the picture layout that we've been seeing in the first three, or the first two comics you know how they connected to make a picture uh, the uh, third one looked like it fit but the fourth one didn't at all uh, uh, which is kind of interesting in that aspect and also um, they're, I don't know, they're just in the fourth one I guess they're supposed to, like the characters are like separating and going their different ways which is interesting. So that might leave um, some open room for maybe a Mob of the Dead comic, hopefully. Or I can't or, wait for that one. That's the one I'm most excited about. Yeah. Uh, I guess the last, like... thing, last thing I want to say as well is um, that if you haven't already and you're on PS4, make sure that you try to pre-download the map for DLC 1 right now because... You want to get that done ahead of time because you don't want to be stuck right once it releases 
and you're that guy that's still downloading. Yeah, I believe on Saturday, so yesterday when you guys are watching this or listening to it, that's when they're going to be releasing it. So we yep. release this on Sunday time. every week. So got a little bit of time yet, but yeah. make sure you get that downloaded. Exactly. And uh, I wanted to mention one more thing. If you guys are still playing Black Ops 3, uh, there's actually a new uh, kind of like exploit within the game that I made a video about. But if you didn't hear about it, basically my friends have like a little clan called No Thumbs Crew. And they play Black Ops 3 and help people do the Easter eggs and stuff all the time. And I actually found a like exploit. So if you get a Wonder Weapon... And then that person has the Wonder Weapon as the third slot. Uh, with near-death experience, they can go down. And people can hit the box and get the same Wonder Weapon again. And that means that four four people can have like the Apothecan Servant upgraded. Uh, which is really cool. You can do it with any of the other maps in Black Ops 3. You can do it with bows. You can do it with the Apothecan Servant on Shadows of Evil. Uh, you can literally do it with any of the maps. So... That's pretty exciting as well. Uh, chances awesome. are it's going to get patched pretty soon, but like having like you know four Wonder Wafts or four Reagan Mark Threes, I mean that's pretty overpowered. Uh, <laughs> it's just good to know it's hot in Black Ops Three right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, because like a lot of people don't play it anymore, but if you do end up playing it, you just want to have some fun with friends. Like, it's a cool thing that you can do. Mhm, mm definitely, definitely. And for Infinite Warfare, you know, we all just got banned, so. That was uh, the latest for that, so <laughs> we're all going through waves in the games. Right now there's glitches. There. It's just good to hear about glitches. You know, that's what it was all about in the beginning. That's what YouTube videos were all about when you were searching for zombies. You wanted to get behind those barriers, try to hold out for as long as you could. So uh, glitches are a good thing, I think, every now and then when we find them. Yeah, I've been reliving those old Easter eggs, too, and those are still just as fun, man. The nostalgia is real. Like, people Definitely. really enjoy it. Like, you guys listening, if you've come to any of those streams, the view numbers have been really high. Like, today I was doing Buried, or a few days ago now, and I had, like, 107 viewers at one point, which is awesome to see that people still like uh, checking out the old nostalgic Easter eggs and stuff. Definitely. So that was good and to you see. you picked a great map. I mean, the music on Buried is Phenomenal. top tier. Yeah, top tier. For sure. Right when you beat the Easter egg, man. I love it. Hell yeah. Well, should we close this out? Yeah, I would say so. If you want to do the outro, it's all you, man. Sure, dude. Um, well, if you guys have enjoyed today, be sure to subscribe to both our channels. Links will be in the description box below. Greg FPS and Grizz Violent, Grizz Zombies. Do it all. We're uh, excited for DLC 1 for Infinite Warfare. And Raven the Redwoods is coming. January 31st. So get ready. Get ready because we're coming. Yeah, and this has been the Power Up Podcast, episode number two. Have an amazing day, and we'll see you next week with a brand new episode. Peace out, guys. Peace out.